They say King Harren used bloods to build these bricks and hold these walls together. They say that's why this whole place stinks of death. Why these massive walls seem so empty. The first has already been claimed. My young wife, they say, was taken by the curse. Her illness was so sudden and so unstoppable that Harrenhal was the only explanation for her illness. I disagree with that. For I watched Aegon the Conqueror in the fittest state of life die without warning. I saw the boy king, his son, die before his first birthday. And now I hear tales that the queen grows more sickly. All this has shown me is that curses... Curses do not exist. They are merely the foolish tales of the small folk who seek explanations for their horrid lives beyond their status and laziness. The truth is, people die. This world is not kind. Now, perhaps I ought to make one or two changes. Spill a bit of blood on the wall so that perhaps they might be finished. It's taking longer and longer to clear this rubble. Maybe if I buy into the superstitions these fools have, I could make them work harder, more loyally. Perhaps I could seek out guidance on building these walls. For while I may be an incredible craftsman, I know well that Aegon's Keep was not built in a day. Such marvels take time to complete. I have a new bride and my son remains fit. I need not worry about crown or curse. All I need to focus on is House Valus and our future. Our time in the Riverlands has not been clean of conflict, but at least our blades have not been needed to turn against our stronger neighbours. Though with the swinging tides and weakened dragons, I worry this may not stay true forever. All I know is that there is no such thing as the curse. It's just an old wives' tale. There is no such thing as the curse. Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones. Where we will be continuing our journey as House Valis, led by Lord Aaron the Black of Harrenhal. We're earning ourselves a decent bit of money. We've begun repairs upon the towers. Repairs that may take a few lifetimes to complete. But uh, with the death of our first wife and a marriage of a second, we're already in a bit of trouble. Uh, people said, oh, I should have married a bit younger. Um, you know, because the curse may take my children. I don't know the curse is coming. It's as simple as that, really. I don't know the curse exists. I don't believe, or at least Aaron doesn't believe the curse exists at this time. Women die all the time. It's unfortunate his wife died young, but a world like this, it could happen. But who knows? Some more events may occur which makes us believe in the curse. <laughs> Plenty of uh, dark magics can take place. And yes, we have an interesting world where the Starks rule Dragonstone as well as the North. And the king, or rather the queen of the Iron Throne, is Visenya, Arda, Aegon, and Aegon's sons death. But with a matrilineal marriage here for um, Visenya, but also a matrilineal marriage for Rhaenys, there is perhaps some hope that <laughs> the dragons, the uh, House of the Dragon, may survive. Want to invite me to a gathering of friends? Uh, sure. Oh, and he's given me a claim on Butterwell. Put me in a bit of debt, but I absolutely want to get that claim. Uh, I hereby enact a series of laws granting more freedoms and privileges to the land of Donar Stark. That can only end badly. <laughs> Let's be honest with that. That can only end badly. Uh, let's move you now to just perform some statecraft for a little while. And do I need to oversee the... Yeah, we'll oversee the realm a bit. Still no court physician. I assume I don't have the money to ask for one either. Not yet. The Martels and Trials by Combat. A Thieves Guild has been established in 
which one is that? That is done here. Not good. It's going to cost us tax. Not great. So we're we're in a interesting state of the world, interesting state of the nation, interesting state of Harrenhal. Oh. Okay, we've arrived at the feast. Lucabor has been a leal and able servant, as my just a car. I shall grant him a knighthood. Oh, now this guy's become my best friend because we got drunk together. And I I've imp guess I've improved relations with him because I've looked at him and I said, "Wow, you're so good on the on um, the ca the Legis Council." I mean, I'm the master at arms on it, so they can have what you will. Who's that? Who's the actual? Uh, it's the Lord Treasurer. Yeah, I'm a much better Lord Treasurer than him. So. <laughs> oh, and, imme and now um, he immediately died after I granted him a knighthood. <laughs> Soon as something good happens, something even worse happens. There's going to be a mighty melee in Winter. You know, let's go to Winterfell. It's not too too long a travel from um, Harrenhal to Winterfell. Just head through the neck and through the uh, the twins. It'll be interesting to see a traditional melee. I would have won, I'm sure. Okay, so he just cancelled it. Why is he at war? Uh, he is against Lord Rickon of the North. Okay, it's a, a war over Moat Kaelin. Well, I hope he wins against these 1k troops, otherwise, that's going to be very embarrassing for him. <laughs> yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a lot of um, fun, quote unquote, in Britain recently. The, the heat has been absolutely beating down on us. Um, if we've been recording this in a bit of a sweat. So as soon as I get healthy again, there's already a new problem. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure this one will pass. Uh, I, I've been enjoying a lot of the feedback I've been seeing for this series and for... Um... Oh, we're at war. We'll look at this more in a sec. I just want to say, I've, I've been enjoying uh, the support I've seen for this series. And just in general, the support from you guys on uh, both the series and on continuing onwards with crusader kings i really really appreciate that and uh always i always love any comments you guys leave i always read all of them even if i uh don't give responses right away please do leave your comments let me know what you think if you have any thoughts for the future of the game i would love to see them now let's see it looks like he, they're against the reach here so it, it is the reach alone against um Everybody else, by the looks of it, in uh, a war for the Iron Throne. Oh, I thought this was going to be a um, support the throne. I thought this was going to be. Oh, well, did you stay neutral, you coward? You did well. But we will, we will support House Targaryen. As a, we were given this position so that there would be loyal Valerians in the Riverlands. And we are loyal indeed. Let's gather up our army. Yeah, the Reach has a substantial army. So even if they are alone, they, they do have a chance there. But let's just quickly see. Do they have any allies? No, it is just the Reach. So it looks like he believes he has a claim on the Iron Throne. Uh, I'm not sure how. I don't know if he has a claim through... Um... I was going to say through... through... The predecessor, but they wouldn't have a claim. The the there was no Iron Throne until Aegon created it. That's this whole thing about when people talk. Oh well, maybe the god, you know, the after the Targaryens die out, the bloodline should be traced elsewhere. But the Iron Throne simply did not exist before any of this. They were they were independent kingdoms. Aegon created the title in the first place. Let us march south. We're gonna. Uh, siege down Harpshire. Oh, and more levy reinforcement. Lovely. I'll never say no to levy reinforcement rate. 
Looks like they're going to go for an early attack on the Stormlands. Are the Stormlands allied with us in this? No, the Stormlands are neutral. Where, Where is the Queen going? I may have to prepare for an emergency move here if... Depending on where he's going, because I don't want to be caught out here. Oh! That was weird. That said there was, they had like 13k in that army and then suddenly they didn't. Oh, there's going to be a big fight. Yeah, we're going to join this. Get the numbers on the queen's side. Did they retreat? Uh, the enemy scurries away from the battlefield like of Tumbleton like frightened rabbits. You wipe the sweat off your brow and watch in silence. It's a hard-fought melee and you're in the thick of it, personally leading your men to victory. Not only have you won this battle, but a great deal of respect. What happened to the Reach troops there? They went from 14k to none. Was it a dragon? It must have just been the, the, the dragon stacks. Was she commanding an army? No, but Rhaenys was. There you go. So Rhaenys was in the army, so her dragon just absolutely demolished their army. Just like that, it is over. Harlan Terrell has been placed into imbr imprisonment. This is already like a very early... Oh my goodness, we'll get to that in a second. This is already a very early example of the power of the Targaryens, and then immediately they fucking die. <sighs> Please tell me you have a child. You don't have a child. Please. Okay, you, you had Veyron, and Veyron died. This is... <sighs> and now you, wanna, you can go to the Citadel, mate. You're more than welcome to go to the Citadel. Who the... The heir to the Iron Throne is Xantis of Krakow of Krakow Point. What madness is this? Peter Virol is now the Lord Paramount of the Reach, and the Iron Throne is keeping Highgarden by the looks of it. No, no, okay, they gave it to him. There you go. Gargan is locked away. Here we go. More blood sacrifices. I'm definitely not going to give it my own blood. I'll take the piety hit. I will just keep sacrificing people. Look. If he used blood, we got to use blood to counter it. It's that simple. And trust me, the uh, House Hora used a lot of blood to bloody make this thing work. Under my guidance, my young rival is... Why am I teaching my rival? <laughs> I should be teaching him how to be the worst sword fighter of all time if he's my rival. <laughs> like, <laughs> so weird. See, so we have a claim on Butterwell. Do Butterwell have any allies? It does not seem so. So if I just went straight into an attack on them, yeah, they don't have anyone to help. Let's get our army together. He's not even moving his because he knows he's dead. Yeah, when it's only one Lord raising, I don't think they stand much of a chance against the Iron Throne. Even just the Iron Throne alone, without help of other vassals. Simply because of dragons. Dragons just give such a huge bonus. You don't have the legal rights to tell me to stop my war. It's my war, not yours. I paid good money for this claim, and I'm going to use it. Although that will make him... Uh, what's his opinion of me now? He does not like me a lot. Let's try and sway him a bit. Oh, wait, is Old Town independent now? They are. Interesting. Oh, and he's giving me... Look at that. He's already given up and he's like, all right, fine, we'll make him a commander. There's not a lot we can do against him. We just have to accept that he's too good for us. My son is a poor fighter. Why can't I teach him to be the good fighter? More than this loser rival of mine. I believe that is actually a thing in um, the new CK3 DLC that you're able to. Oh, very secluded coronation. Interesting. But it, it's a. Uh, in CK3, you can sort of train children in your dungeons the way you want. So you ca kind of can actually do um, that scenario where you. <laughs> Raise a rival kid uh, your way instead. We're just peacefully sieging. 
Look at that. This there's no curse. Well, this is just a happy, peaceful siege as the House of the Dragon literally crumbles around us. I'm really hoping she has a child soon. With um Alton of a seemingly a lowborn. Like who even is this dude? I guess he's a Westerosi Valyrian at least. Oh, and Dragonstone has is been revoked, or at least the High Lordship has been. Take the family into house arrest. And we can end this now. I will take it for myself. Let's lower that. And then my son is now going to have an heir's title. Um, we will... I'm not able to grant him land. Why not? He's my boy. Am I missing grant land? Yes, there is. It's all at the top, silly me. Uh, we will give him butter, butter beans. Look at that. My boy has a title all of his own now. And technically all my main vassals are loyal, so. A local noble became suspicious after I asked a couple of brash questions, and I fear may figure out that I'm trying to fabricate a claim on his idol. Never. I'm a good, honest man. I would never claim anyone's title. So Lord Dana no longer has his Lord uh, Paramountcy. He's just a weak little random guy. And he, is, he isn't the heir right now. The heir is uh, Brandon. I really want to know how Donna Stark inherited this in the first place. So who did he marry? Lady Gisela, who's a Hayford. And they had... Okay, they owned Hayford here. <laughs> Honestly, it must have just been um, granted it. I could sleep with a Tully. A Tully who is married to uh, the coherences who I hate. Fuck yeah. And I fell in love with her. <laughs> Fall in love with another man's life. Chad. I, I'm not going to try and sway him with harlots. Obtain a dragon egg. There's no way I could obtain a dragon egg, surely. But I mean, I have to as well. Because that sounds awesome. I will allow duels. Because they're awesome and cool. And nobody gets hurt in them. Other than people I don't like. If I like you, you're not allowed to uh, duel. That's the rules. You bitch. My master of arms is... Uh... Oh, okay. Must have been a minor title we left then. Do you need more commanders, though? Let's get this 62-year-old commanding my troops. Oh, and my, my lover now has a child. <laughs> and she's keeping the secret. Look at that, this guy's a chad. During a visit to the... Okay, you just improved my relations with what you're saying. That's okay. At the feast, I told him you were so epic. And he was like, wow, I agree. Another peasant revolt. No child. A hundred K! Sure. Wait, it's my peasant revolt. It's my peasant revolt. You little bitch. I shouldn't have raised that troop specifically right there, but oops. That's what that's the uh, official term for it. Oopsie daisy. Oh look at that. They came in clutch to, to bail me out. Okay, never mind never mind, we may have lost. Oh no we did we didn't. We did it. We beat the rebels. And it was all thanks to me and me alone. It is funny that they start these peasants revolt and it's against the queen because the queen's a top title. Slightly levy focused. During your visit to Harrentown. Okay, the first episode was so chaotic. It's good to have a little respite during his uh his middle-aged years in here we just need to keep things peaceful while um our children grow 
Because if things get wild, that could be bad for us. Lord's port. Okay. Oh, winter's coming to an end. I didn't even realize it was winter. Such a, a peaceful winter. He died in mysterious circumstances. Based off how he yelled, I had a feeling he bloody fell off of a cliff. I demand the trial by combat. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, good. He believes it's his child. And luckily, since he's also Valyrian. Um, oh, no, he's, he's converted to Riven, but his house is Valyrian. Uh, you know, they've got Valyrian blood in them, so it makes sense that they would... You can even see from Medgar here. It makes sense they would have white hair. I have a feeling she must be super well, because there's no way Med he had Medgar when he was 61 year years old. I flat out refuse to believe that. <laughs> oh, look at that, Lord Ronald's all grown up. And the Westerlands is... I mean, it's impressive how large the, the Westerlands are. Um, do I need to go to attorney? Might as well. Let's have a bit of fun. May not be as good at attorneys as uh, status is, but... Oh, uh, hedge knights. Do I need... Let's, let's welcome in the hedge knights. What could go wrong? Famous last words. They all pull out knives and kill you. Oops, curse of Harrenhal. Ha 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 ha. Oh, yeah, you can join. You can join our service. Hell yeah, buddy. Uh, and we will... Assemble Mercery Company. No, we... Oh, come on, it's full. That's why. Let's get rid of the old bastard. Relieve him as a commander. And then we can make Willis a commander instead. Ready, my horse? Hit. A fine hit, I must say. First round was a victory. Now we are against the Brackens. Sir Peter Black Bracken. Hit. Ooh, Zealous or Greedy? Or Charitable than Just? Ze Zealous is the best one there, I think. Yep, there we go. Zealous. A fine hit, I must say. And I've been declared a winner. And I'm now against Sir Osmond of uh, Goodbrook. Oh, and he got the better of me, apparently. Let's see. What can I possibly do to endear Lord Paramount Edmund to me? Uh, let's bring him the head of a Bob, he said he looked fat. Yeah, it seems like I've lost this one. Indeed. We made it decently far into the tilts, but uh, there were still like four rounds after us, so... We'll take the prestige of Link, then now pass on. So I, I think I want to save up the 300 gold and build up one of these Riverman castles now. Although, I probably would get more by upgrading a castle town. It's a toughie. Let's, uh, I think we'll build at least one keep. Let's save up for one keep before we do any other building. Honestly, in a way, it's been, uh, as I said, it's been good, it's been slightly more peaceful for the children's sake. Even if the realm has been a little bit fucky-wucky. Do you have a kid yet? You gotta have, please have a child. I'm begging you to have a child. Significant uh, progress has been made. Part of the debris of old King Harren's castle is removed. It's gonna, okay. 
Right, yeah, I, d I don't think we're going to be able to build anything. Never mind. I'm going to need to take out a loan. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bloody second. Oh, Lord. Let's take out a loan. Um, we'll take it from Bravos. Go for a fish session at once. I really... Do not like the sound of my that sickness has taken my son. Ah, oh, it's a flu. It could be, could be nothing, but that could be very, very bad as well. Keep our fingers crossed for my for my boy. I've abandoned my boy. I'm just training. I'm training up this random kid, rival kid rather than my own child. Bad looks of it. Oh goodness. And, ugh, ugh, peasants. Peasants are peasants. Oh, I should have said things are peaceful, because I'm now... <laughs> everything's going bad because of it. Catelyn Tully has died of depression. Goodness. And that... Yeah, she... That was the... The... Wife of the Prince of the Vale. The Blackwoods wish for my council support. I'll ex I I'm fine with getting a uh, favour from the Blackwoods. Because right now, do we still... We do not have an alliance with the Brackens, so working the Blackwoods sounds like a good idea. To me, at least. Look at her, she's now 52. And I'm approaching my 50s as well. Okay, we can... Looks like it's time for my daughter's education. She will get decent education. And we will get her on... Me stewardship. I know she doesn't have the traits for it, but she has the, the base stat for stewardship. And I'm a steward anyway, aren't I? I mean, look at me. Does my, my faith just scream stewardship to you? Now the bloody gate is at war against the tyranny of, of... Interesting. You wish to marry my daughter. That is a greater marriage proposal than I could have accepted. But, ah, oh, She's refusing to marry him. She finds him unappealing to the eye. I, I mean, I have to command her to be betrothed. It's, it, obviously, it's not matrilineal. So if Damon dies, we have some problems. But uh, if that event does happen, we'll talk a little bit about that. Because to, to give a general idea, this campaign is indeed a custom house campaign. But it's also a, a look at Harrenhal and a look at the magics and the darkness of A Song of Ice and Fire. So if something were to happen to House of Aelis, perhaps another house may rise in their stead. But I have hopes for House Vaitless. Look at that, Damon's already healing from his flu. I wonder if Lord Paramount Edmund would appreciate letting me learn more of the benefits of hard work from me. Yes, I'll teach him about hard work. I mean, he liked it. I taught him that uh, if you work hard, you get to play hard. And he was stunned by that revelation. Couldn't believe it. I can't spend money on anything because I need to pay off this loan. Converting to cultures. I don't... I want to stay Valyrian as well. Uh, we'll go to Winterfell. Take me to Winterfell. I should compete, you know. I should just kill them all with cobblestone. I could exile Gargan. Let's exile this little bastard. I'm tired of him. Noran has yielded. I love that because it's the bloody gate which has been taken and it's the only way through. We now have basically two veils. The veil, the veil. The veil, the cooler veil. Yeah, you can only join the melee if you are an Orven Lord, but you know, you lose prestige if you don't participate for whatever reason, so it's still worth participating. I always forget they have this little bit of river here. 
Yes, that is my ADHD talking. Anyway. <laughs> The late nights, the way my rifle husband has stopped touching me or even looking at me. And now I hear the whispers of her and that driveling coward Joffrey. I can't take it anymore. Confront Joffrey. Who is this Joffrey? <gasps> my much younger courtier. I shall denounce them publicly. How dare you? How dare you, you bastard. You bastard, Joffrey. Attraction to uncouth, minus ten. Listen, he's uncouth because he spends so much time being an absolute chad, amazing king. Okay, amazing lord. He just doesn't have time to bathe sometimes, okay? Can you blame him? Can you blame him? I can't. I love the scream of... Very helpful. Raven has arrived from the Citadel. We need to do school, man. I bet the Lord of Cracklaw Point right now is real happy that for some bloody reason he's... Oh, he's no longer the heir. Oh, oh, oh. Now the heir is the Valyrians of Dragonstone. I guess the Valerians are at least Valyrian. So that's something. If the House of the Dragon dies, I will consider it a very funny alternative history. I'm not going to try and, you know, I'm not going to use edits and all of this to force the Targaryens to stay in control. I will find it funny if they lose. Because look, the Valerians are clearly better at having children. Just look at that. <laughs> That's a great trial. There's Lord Paramount Brandon Stark uh, accused Bodgar Magnar. And he got beheaded because he lost. Hello, I'm Bodgar Magnar. Let's see. This is probably the best uh, province other than obviously Harren Hall itself. So definitely want to keep an eye on that. Lady Radius, I have the perfect job for you. Is she a good spy master? She's okay. She's what's my current spy master? It's not that much better, and he is okay. He's a sir, not a lord. Um, I don't trust her. Even though my I don't trust my current spy master much either, by the looks of it. <laughs> Look, you, you get who you can get. Even if sometimes they don't like you and want to kill you. She's 40, he's 35. They definitely can have a child, but I don't think they're going to, is the problem. Varen is the sh will be the shortest lived king of all time, I have a feeling. Maybe I should write a letter to, pa to Lord Paramount Edwin to convince him of my good intentions. What does he think of me now? Minus four. There we go, that means we should be in the positives now. No, okay. Never mind. Still a little bit of him still hates me. Uh, to repay our loan is 185. So we're, we're on the way of being able to afford our loan. Won't need the Iron Bank to come over with warships and pay our rivals to go to war with us, as they often do. Oh no, and he died a natural death. Well, maybe I should claim his kid as my own now. <laughs> you know, just to be sure, just to um, just to uh, keep everything, um, you know, keep keep the bloodline alive. <laughs> you know, at least he got a natural death. Most people don't get that in the Game of Thrones. Right, let's repay this debt. He doesn't like me. I expect we'll have another payment soon. Once he turns uh, twelve, we'll be paying for his education, and we will we will pay very well for Damon's education. Even if childhood focus struggle isn't doing great for him. Still, I mean, being a, a learning under his regent must help his learning a little bit.
surely. The Reach is so interesting now that... Are there any Terrells left? What happened with House Terrell? They've been completely exiled? Oh, there's a war. Against the... Wait, we're against the Iron Throne. Uh, hang on, what's going on? Let's have a look at this. So, it is the Trident and the Iron Islands against Rhaenys. I'm going to support the throne here. Oh, and now I'm at, and now I have a civil war to deal with. Seven thousand troops. And now wait, and now she's of the trident. Oh, she married the heir. <laughs> she's still in love with me, even though, and she's married to the heir of Valyrian, of uh, House Valyrian. I'd really, I'd really love it if you'd help me against these rebels, um, my queen. It would just be incredible uh, if you'd help me out. Nope, I guess I'm doing it with myself. And now I'm having 12k coming to attack me. Because the... This is not going to end well for me. No, not at all. Oh, goodness me. How did be defeating them in battle not win the war? This girl, Sarah. I'll adopt her. Our house has been small for a while. Why not adopt this this poor child? Right, they didn't fully die out. That's why they, they didn't. So I'm going to have to go around and then up. Kill them and hope the Tullys leave me alone. <laughs> you know, you could you could just march on them and instantly win this war, by the way, Daener uh, Daenerys. My mind for you, Rainies. Okay, the Greyjoys look like they're going to be absolutely wiped in that battle. Nice to take care of these rebels. Despite being his permanent, I feel as if reaching out to him in some way. Meet under Armistice. Damn it! It'd be great if I could meet him under Armistice and then kill him. That would just be funny. <laughs> but I'm not the kind of man to do that. Uh, I, you know. Stat wise, I'm not. Who am I up against? I should be able to beat this guy. Oh no, he didn't fight me. He was a coward and hit. There we go. We can enforce our demands there. And then we're going to retreat our armies and just. Uh... Yeah, we're going to retreat them real fucking quick so that we aren't immediately attacked by the trident here. Thank God smaller armies move quicker. Right, let's meet back up with. Uh... The, the throne in Rosby. Or if you just, let's just meet uh, on the Iron Throne. And we'll move when they move. If they bloody move. Because right now they don't seem intent on moving. Looks like we're going to in intercept the Ironborn fleet here. Ooh, we have less men, but the landing penalty has made us win this battle. Uh, no prisoners, though. Could have been big if we got prisoners there. A new dragon rider. Valyrian of the Dragon Gate is also a dragon rider now. That's your dragon. Meraxes is, is 92 now. Healthy age. Again, still no bloody child. It looks like maybe she's waiting for the north to come join because the north is on the way down now. But there's 5,000 Iron members of the Iron Islands just sieging here. Absolutely. Go take them out. March with me, boys. Come on. I would never lead you astray. Just some of you come with me and we'll win this battle. I genuinely promise it. Look at that. The Starks know what they're doing. The Starks are immediately on the battle. Didn't, like, the Targaryens and the Stormlands have been waiting here this whole time, but the Starks are immediately ready for a battle. They're no cowards. Even the Ironwoods are joining in. Okay, good battle. We need to we need to try and hit them in the north here. Why 
We have 25%, but that's not going to hold. Oh, my... She, the, the AI is just going to siege down there. How could I forget that it does stupid stuff like that? <laughs> We're going to go into debt to get our son the best education possible. So, Sarah Rivers... My little girl. Um, and Rainier has reached age. Oh, did her husband die? What happened with the... He he chose a different wife. Wait, no. What? No, this Ronald the King who flew. What happened to his sons? Where they at? Wait, no. This, it was, it was his brother. He went to the wall? Rather than marry my daughter, you bastard. Well, I guess we'll look at a... I was about to say we'll, we'll look at a matrilineal one, but hang on a bloody minute. We could marry to reach all the... Will they accept the marriage with Westerland too? They would! Well, that's a huge, a huge marriage to get. So we're absolutely going to take that. My daughter, Rhaenyra, will be married into the House of Lannister. Look at that. Now they're on the retreat. We need to hit them while they're on the retreat. Don't just sit here. There we go. Come on. No, Starks. March at them, not away from them. How's it actually going on the Iron Isles? The Baratheons and Targaryens are taking care of things there. And now I'm going to be attacked. Let's see if anyone's going to help. I expect to no. know. I shall visit my, my lover. Look, look at this. 32k and they're not coming to help. I actually could have won that as well. We had an incredibly good start there. Oh my goodness. I have no reason to fight him anymore. Or to meet with him. These pe it's always these peasants. It's constant peasants. Peasants, 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 peasants. Do I really not have a better spy master than him? Oh, jeez. <laughs> my council is not the smartest council. Well, at least they like me. Let's keep leading our army. This war should be done soon. We played a substantial enough part, I think, taking care of those uh, early Greyjoy armies we faced. Oh, the Danes are up here as well. Very good. I'm hoping we'll get some reward for the Queen for our role in this, because we, we obeyed, technically, our oath to our Lord Paramount to keep to our Lord to the Queen. I believe, did Seagull do the same, or are they neutral? No, they're neutral. But we, we disobeyed. We were building a strong friendship with uh, the Lord of the Trident, and we betrayed the Lord of the Trident for our loyalty to House Targaryen. But yet still, no child. This could be already the end of House Targaryen. I mean, I said I may not do edit. I may give them one bloody child just to see if they can <laughs> survive with that. Goodness me, immediately! Harren Hall is prospering. And we shall join this defensive war. The Trident is de demanding independence, probably because they weren't happy that the war was won in the Iron Isles without them actually being sieged down. Which makes sense, you know, they, they had their own demands that were not met. Uh, we're going to try and catch these early Tully armies, though. Okay, good victory. They, ha they have no men left. There's no way that they can think they have a chance here. Like, I have as many men as they do right now, I believe. <laughs> He's named himself an emperor, or a king, rather. That's funny. Yeah, that's not going to last, buddy. We're going to take care of you. Don't you worry. I'm hoping I'm going to get a real nice bloody reward for all this. <laughs> okay, push myself into an early unnecessary battle here. But let's try and get the bat the harrow away. Okay, that helps our morale. But I think this battle's already a lost cause, unless this army can get in quick. No. Damn. We'll, we'll assist in the siege at Maidenpool then, while we regain our banners. This is going to take a long time to recover from, by the way. Our army is going to be absolutely scuppered for probably the rest of um, Eren's life. Yeah, 
Yeah, I want a reward for all the work I'm putting into this. All my men dying out so that we can help Taz Targaryen. And King Edmund was slain in battle. And now Queen uh, Menissa uh, continues the battle. Interesting. A.K.A. my lover. <laughs> She's now the queen of the trident and is still my lover. This is... Very awkward situation for me to be in as I'm now fighting a war against my lover. Goodness me! <laughs> what, a, what an eventful end of this episode it's been for um, our boy. But this war should be won. Our loyalty remains to the Targaryens even if there is reasons to be upset about having to fight this war. Oh dear. Vhagar has died. The age of 69. Nights. Yeah, I... I should tell her. Yeah, I should sneak across the battlefields and tell her that it's over. Two peasants. Let's try and sponsor me between these families and end a lot of the peasant troubles we're having. Um, it appeals to their sense of reason. And they shot, shoot me down. I get one diplomacy though. Ugh. Losing a lover like that is 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 sad. We, we we basically lost her just because of the war. Like you know, we 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 can't be sleeping with a person that we're in open rebellion against, and it's open rebellion against the crown as well. More and more lords are now joining against um, her as well. The Brackens are now rising against her. Looks like the Blackwoods are the only ones still loyal. Though goodness knows how long that's gonna last. Let's cut out one of these last armies here. This war is all but won now. As soon as River Run is taken, it should be over. I don't know what's going to happen to House Tully here, though. I mean, she was brutal with House Highgarden, just at utterly destroying the Highgardens here. Who knows what she could do with uh, the Tullys, who have technically now declared on her twice. Uh, in Although, I, I guess in the Trident's eyes, this would be a continuation of the First War. As they never surrendered the first war. Oh, only both Darkfire and Blackfire and Dark Sister. And there's the Queen's army. And that is the last of their defenses at all. It says they have 3k men, but do they really? I mean, look, look around. Where do you see them? Lord Damon can now be married, so we'll take a quick pause and have a look. No good options at all. Why? Why does no one like me? Oh, it's because still the realm... We're going to have to wait until the realm's reunited again. Uh, that's why. There we go, there we go. Lord Commander Gowan the Cruel of the King's Guard is leading the siege on River Run. Uh, the siege that will most likely end the war. If it, they don't surrender already. Because it looks like the Blackwoods falling has done a big damage to their support. Because it was only the Blackwoods, the um, the Freys and uh, Maidenpool which are still on their side. This should be an easy siege. My young Lord Lyman is learning well. What about my son? Can my son learn anything? Or can he just be... Is he just a big dumb idiot? Because he looks like he's a big dumb idiot. Which is not helpful. <laughs> it's good the Brackens made their mind up and selected this side. But I'm a bit disappointed in the Blackwoods that they... But I suppose, you know... They probably still see the Targaryens as foreign invaders. Which they are. You know, we're still in the first generation of Targaryens. Even if though we had the second generation about two months before they died. How many men do they have now? Okay, 14k. More reasonable amount. <laughs> 
and she has been taken into custody. Well, an unfortunate end for uh, uh, the uh, wars here. I thought they had a chance. Perhaps they did not. But as peace has returned to the realm, we will call it there for this episode. And next time, quite a lot will probably happen. The peace terms for the Trident War will be discussed, as will the war in the uh, Iron, uh, Iron Isles. And we'll see if we will get rewarded for it. Uh, please do uh, leave a comment, leave a, leave a like. Please let me know your thoughts on this series. I would love to hear any feedback you have. Uh, and possibly we'll see who my son will marry at the beginning of next episode as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, it seems like it'll probably be a slightly longer one than usual, but I've really enjoyed being able to have this this big war here. But with our armies now totally shattered after the war, who knows what's to come for uh, House Valis. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time for more CK2. Until then.